You guys, in Do It Like That, Ricky Lee is all like, you like it when I do it like that? And we're all like, yes, we want, want, want you, baby. She is amazing, and I could see her tearing it up at Eurovision for Australia. Absolutely. Ricky Lee has been a favorite for a really long time. She um, had a shock elimination in Australian Idol in 2005. Um, she came seventh, and everyone thought that she was going to win. Um, and ever since then, I think, like, Australia kind of gave her a little bit of a sympathy vote, like, oh, we're so sorry that we didn't vote for you, so we're just going to buy all your music now. And she was like, we didn't mind. Like, she was getting lots of radio play here. She's had a string of really popular songs here. Um, she's lost a lot of weight recently, so she's all confident and sassy, and I love her, and she would do amazing in Vienna. Are you saying that she used to be a big girl? She used to be quite... I don't want to say big, but, like, she had shape... <laughs> Okay. Well, she certainly yeah. works those curves because I can't remember anything but fierce. Um, mm. Quick question. Didn't music mogul Ian Dixon freak out when she was eliminated? Yeah. So he said that her elimination on Australian Idol was the most shocking in Australian Idol history. So that was from 2003 to 2009. That's how long that show ran for here. And um, he still stands by that for sure. I think that she's really kind of just... For somebody that got eliminated early in, in Australian Idol, usually people that are like the shock eliminations, they everybody's like, oh, it's an outrage, and then they just fade into the background and do nothing. The fact that she's managed to keep going for like 12 years shows just how talented she is. A lot of her music, she's kind of changes up her style every now and again. Obviously, she's changed her personal style and her personal shape. Um, but she's really kind of confident. She can work the media well. I think she did Dancing in the Stars Australia, and I think she did quite well with that. Mm. She's just really kind of built up a really good sort of Ricky Lee brand, I think. And if she brought that with her to Eurovision, I think she could slay some people. It's great. I love the backstory of her elimination. It's almost like her philosophy is, knock me down, I'm going to stand up pull down the shade, I'm gonna pull it back up. Mm. Like sometimes it takes outrage and hate to drive people or, or some people thrive on that. And I'm glad that she's doing that. And I'm um, just looking at over her history. Uh, it appears that her song Can't Touch It featured on the soundtrack to Sex and the City, the movie. So she's already familiar to people, even if they don't know her name, because certainly we'll know that song. Um, what about her most recent song, Mirage? Mirage is very Sia, Lord kind of inspired, very bassy, builds up to a huge like ending. Like the song is amazing. It didn't chart well here at all. And I don't know why, because that song needs to be at the top. Like it is incredible. It, I would encourage all of you to go and listen and you'll be like, yep, Ricky Lee for Australia 2015 has to happen. I think that she's, it's a really good song and it does, does show that kind of other side to her. I mean, you compare, <coughs> you mentioned earlier, Do It Like That, compare that to Mirage, completely different songs. And it shows that she could probably go to Eurovision with either one or the other and she could steal the show. I think that she would be a really good representative for SBS. And it's great that she's had, you know, 12 years in the industry because the artist obviously brings their team. So their producers, their makeup artists, their stylists. She's got everything lined up. Her army is ready for battle and she is going to fiercely, you know, pounce down that runway on her stilettos, leaning on them to victory. I'm mm -hmm. loving it. She ain't going to be any mirage. Hell no. She is real, y'all. She <laughs> is real.